Okay, I'm, I'm treating this coral with uh, Lugols. I use, um, this is a Camp Marine Lugols. I used about uh, four uh, droppers full in this container of water that I use for a lot of different things. And I got it my turkey baster. And I have been, in the last few minutes, uh, just basting this coral with, with the water and blowing off, as you can see, all this stuff. I always watch the uh, Pakoda corals are very susceptible to this because the way their their structure of their coral is, it's almost like a cup like. And this coral, uh, what happened was this I have a dotty back that for some reason decided it's going to start um, bur uh, bl picking up sand underneath this coral and and um, blow, uh, spitting it out, and it got it unstable. And then overnight, I uh, would do the flow of the power heads and all. Uh, it tipped into the sand more than it normally does and started this bacterial infection. So my goal with this is to try to blow off as much of the bacterial infection as I can and uh, put it back in the tank and see what it looks like tomorrow. Might do this again. We shall see. I always keep extra salt water made up so that I can do this kind of stuff. I try to be proactive with these corals. You don't catch this kind of stuff right off, right out of the bat. You'll lose the whole dang thing within 24 hours easily. This coral's been really healthy for the past year, and as usual, you get a fish doing crazy stuff and can cause you some problems. So, I just wanted to share with you all this uh, what I do in my tank with uh, a coral that's got a disease. A bacterial infection in it to where you know it's causing a problem with the coral and pakotas are nice little corals they just have to be very watchful due to the shape of the coral itself in a cup like it is so I uh, hope you learned something and happy reefing <laughs>